you think getting in the Navy is going to be tough? I mean, I can only imagine what what the Army numbers are. So the, the this headline here is very interesting. It says Navy again lowers requirements as it struggles to meet recruitment goals. Now, I mean, imagine we can't even get kids to go get a job at McDonald's. They just <laughs> want to sit at home and play video games. How do you think? You're going to get them into the military where they might actually get killed. Well, one way not to um, do it is with those ads they have where it's like, hi, my name is Jennifer. My two moms found uh, <laughs> met at the pier and now I got to be in the United States military. You're like, what the F? I didn't see those. Those, yeah. uh, those Is that a real commercial? Yes. Or you it up? And here's, you know, I'm not making it up. That's an actual commercial. And the commercials they have now, it, you, when I joined the military, it was like a guy fighting a dragon with a sword. It's like, join <laughs> and be the, the hero. That you, was the Marine Corps. Yeah. <laughs> be the hero. You that need was an to awesome be. ad, by the yeah. way. Be the hero we need you to be. The guy's like, oh. It's yeah, like yeah, mythical. He's, yeah, he's he's like a knight and then transforms into a Marine. At the yeah, end. bro. And like, oh, my God, I want to go fight dragons. Exactly. Yeah, and then you look at these, yeah. new, these new cartoon ones. They look like anime. And it's like, my name is Jennifer. My well, two moms worked really hard to fight for equality. And now I'm, and you're like, what the F? Like, it's, it's, it literally looks like anime. She's got, she's got two moms. She's non-binary. And the Air Force accept her, accepts her or whatever. And I'm like. Well, I mean, are you surprised? That's the, that's the shitty part. No. Yeah. I'm I mean, not, I'm not even surprised that's... anymore. I'm just like, this, yeah, this is just reality. I mean, they, they wanted to send a message out that that the LGBTQ is welcome to the military, and that's and that's fine. And everybody has their opinion on what they want to do. When I served in the Navy, uh, you if you were gay, which there were a lot of gay people, a lot of a lot of gay people in the Navy, but nobody ever like in the talked Navy. about it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nobody ever talked about it. It was not something that any because if you said it, you were out. That was it. Right. But you knew you knew the the guys and gals who were who were pitching for the other side but no even the bosses who knew it they never said anything you had to actually out yourself in order to get out um so anyways the requirements are very interesting because this is the bigger let's let's talk about the bigger problem with this and that is the draft okay so we we haven't had a draft in our country since vietnam right i think korea and vietnam as well we had draft because people were like yeah i don't want to do this we didn't have enough people in the military so we had to draft people to go to war OK, and that's what happens when you can't get people to join uh, on their own. You have to draft them to go. So the real question is, you know, are your kids and grandkids going to be drafted? Because that's, you know, the people watching here. None of the people watching here have to worry about being drafted. You guys are too old. But, you know, are your family members going to at some point get drafted if we end up in a big struggle with, say, you know, against China or something happens where we need bodies? Does that mean that there's going to be a draft? And if recruitment goals continue to go down, that's the only option that's going to be available for them. I mean, selective service is something you still have to do when you turn 18. You got to turn in that name. So it's not like just because it hasn't happened in a long time doesn't mean they can't bring it back. And I hear recently that the UK is considering bringing back the draft because they can't get enough people to join their military either. Yeah, and they, and they, and they also have an extremely troubling immigration issue where it's like, the entire like, like Paris has just been overrun. Like they need to, they need to figure out. I don't know what I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're, well, there's some countries require military service. So you got one of two options: you can either go to college, or you can, or you can spend two years serving your country. Some some places require you to spend two years serving your country, regardless, and that's how they get their military people to come in. But the government, China, the, the, China has that. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure a lot of countries I've been to require that service, which. You know, maybe something that the U.S. probably maybe should do with some of these kids who don't want to go out and do anything but stay in their mom's house. Well, China, um, you have until you're like 28 or something like that to to do your two years. No, that makes sense. Yeah. So I, I I know I know some Dota players that were like uh, <clears throat> pro players that delayed <clears throat> their their service <clears throat> so they can finish their careers. It's not a bad thing to support your country, but here's the, the reality: is is that our country is based on, you know, it's it we we're a world power. We have all these things. We offer college. So, you know, there's there's all these wonderful things that if you join the military, good luck using it, then though. what is the requirements that were lowered? So this is interesting. It used to be required that if you're going to join the military and the Navy specifically here, we're talking, mm -hmm. you had to either be a graduate from high school or you had to have a GED. OK, um, and once you did that, you had to take the ASVAB test and you had to score a certain level. And usually that was based on whatever job you were going to do. So if you if you went and took the ASVAB and you scored like a like a 50 
then you're going to be a boiler tech and work on the bottom of the ship. <laughs> or, or if okay. you're in the army, you're going to be a, 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 what's it with infantry. That's yeah, like, yeah. that's like the lowest level job. If you score low, you're going to get a job that, that almost anybody can do. And if you score higher than you, then you qualify for other jobs like journalism or, you know, orographer, you know, weatherman, all those different things. So, so it's interesting because the Navy is now removing the requirement to graduate from high school. Uh, they're having such a difficult time. You can now take a test to join the Navy and all you have to do is be able to meet their, uh, meet the standard of a score of 50. So if you can meet a score of 50, uh, even if you're a high, not a high school graduate, you can still join the Navy. And that's an interesting sign because, you know, what are the reasons most people don't end up, you know, graduating from high school these days? Usually there are some sort of a, you know, problem, right? right <laughs> it's, yeah. it's usually like uh, yeah, they're disobedient. Sub they abuse, you juvenile know, hall. whole bunch you know. of different issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not like, you know what? I just want to play Fortnite. That's not, yeah, it's, that's usually not the reason. That's not the reason. No, There's it's something it's, more. They usually have yeah. criminal problems, you know, issues. And just to be clear, things. it's incredibly easy to score 50 on the ASVAT. It's it's so easy. It is. It's, it, it's, it's like, <laughs> you just, you just had, like, if you, yeah, no offense to anyone who got low scores, but like, if you can walk and talk at the same time and you know your name, you'll probably score 50. It's not hard. It's not hard. And, you know, so what, so basically what this means is that you're going to have these type of people coming into the military. That's not always a bad thing. Now, a lot of people back in the day, they had a choice. You could either go to jail or you go to the military. This right. was the, back in the, back in the, I know, like 60s, that by the, the way. 70s. You, you got a choice, right? Yeah. You know, and that, jail that's or military. Yeah. Jail or military. And a lot of the people who ended up joining the military ended up learning growing up, you know, and, and good things happen. So I'm not saying that, that it's necessarily bad to have people who didn't, didn't, but it's definitely going to bring down the level of, of, of skill and intelligence initially uh, that the military has to offer, that the Navy has to offer. And at some point, they're going to have to, at some point, they're going to have to offer incentives to get people to join the military again. Right. They're going to have to offer more money. They're going to have to offer, and listen, not everybody wants to go to college. You know, even I'm thinking about it. I'm like, do I really care if my kids go to college? What do no. I, what, what do I need them to do? What is college doing? Not We've much. watched so many people graduate college and go, I got a job at McDonald's. Right, right. Yeah, you right. know, you know instead, like, for real, if you're out there going, if you're out there considering college, please also consider a trade school because then you'll actually, you know, go to a school where you can get a good job placement and instead of getting an art studies degree and ending up working at, you know, in the warehouse somewhere of a t-shirt shop. <laughs> right. The promise of, <laughs> yeah, the promise of, of, um, you know, the promise of joining, you know, the military and uh, or going to college and, and having any job that you want is those days are gone. They don't exist anymore. Um, so going into the military is supposed to give you a trade that you can then translate out into the real world. Mm -hmm. uh, so the military is almost like a trade school in, in a way. Uh, but what's the problem with the military? Uh, you could get killed. It could happen. You know, you could end up in a, in a conflict and you could end up, you know, your life could be over. So, which is part of the reason why I joined the Navy and not the Army. And why I should uh, have listened to you. <laughs> well, but I here's the funny thing. I was surrounded by pretty girls working on a computer screen. Well, Look, no, you no, guys no. might not That's even see Force. me. I'm sorry, the Air Force. Listen, if I, you know, but you told me to join the Air Force first. Because you, you were like, I had high ass value scores. You're like, I should have joined the Air Force. Uh, join the Air Force, bro. But here's the deal. If I had done that, this, I might not be here today. I would have probably have finished my time. I, I think yeah. I would have continued in the in the Air Force. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have split. Bro, I'm here. And I continue my time. That's true. <laughs> Man, you know what? Maybe <laughs> we'd still be both be here. But maybe I'd be skinnier. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't seem to work for me. Didn't work for me. So right. yeah, no, you're right. It's you know, the the Navy, anyways, the Navy for me was was great. Except here's the problem was I joined the Navy to not have to go fight in foreign countries on the ground boots on ground and i ended up in iraq <laughs> boots on ground in the navy so they changed the rules They're like ah, we're tired of losing uh marine corps and army we're now going to start bringing navy and air force people boots on ground yeah, and that's yeah. what ended up happening yeah i'm gonna join so the I got, navy they I never go on land who fights yeah. in the water <laughs> yeah the trick was on me buddy yeah after iraq and afghanistan yeah tricks on me so but listen so it, it is something that kids are like why do i want to do it and i'm telling my kids look if you don't have to join the military, I don't think you should join the military. I tell my kids that because why would I choose that for them? Why would I choose right. the risk? 
right? So I get why. I mean, after what happened in Afghanistan and Iraq, you know, parents aren't telling their kids to join the military unless you're in a situation where you don't have any other options. Yeah. Like, what are your career? What do you, what is your, what is, what are your career aspirations? Oh, okay. Well, you're going to work at a fast food place. You're going to work at the local bowling alley. Yes, please go join the fucking military. Yeah, the reason I, I joined the military yeah. is because I I wasn't getting any help from anyone. I was working two jobs and trying to go to a community college, and it was impossible. It was impossible to work a night job at Kinko's, literally the night manager at Kinko's, and a, a guy who made the vinyl stickers for signs during the day. And then attempt yeah. to, to do college for four or five hours during that time. It was impossible. You were trying to make your life better, bro. Yeah. And that's what most people who join the military are trying to do. They're trying to make their life better. And you can make your life better in the military. There are things that you can learn that translate to other things. So the military is not a bad thing. And it's a shame that more people don't take it. But, you know, I understand why it's happening. And you should just note that if, requ if these requirements continue to go down, unless they can get people to join, if we do end up in a major conflict, there will be drafting again. Hey, if you like this clip and you want to see more, then click right here and become a member today. Also, we do a live show every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, totally free. So come on down and hang out with us every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll see you there.